now we'll see how to find the generating function for Legendre polynomial pn of x. That is to show that pn of x is the coefficient of z bar n in the expansion of 1 minus 2xz plus z square whole power minus half in ascending powers of z. So we can write 1 minus 2xz plus z square whole power minus half as 1 minus z into 2x minus z whole power minus half. We know the formula uh, that 1 minus x whole power minus half can be written as 1 plus 1 by 2x plus 1 by 2 into 3 by 2 into x squared by 2 factorial plus 1 by 2 into 3 by 2 into 5 by 2 into x cube by 3 factorial and it will go on. So if you uh, use this formula, if you write equation 1, 1 plus 1 by 2 z into 2x minus z plus 1 into 3 divided by 2 into 4 z squared into 2x minus z whole squared and it will go like this and plus 1 into 3 into 5 into 2 uh, up to 2n minus 3 divided by 2 4 6 into 2n minus 2 z power n minus 1 into 2x minus z whole power n minus 1 plus 1 3 5 etc up to 2n minus 1 divided by 2 4 6 etc up to 2n into z power n 2x minus z power n. Now we have to find the coefficient of z power n in each term. In the first term there is no coefficient of z power n. The second also there is no coefficient of z power n. So we will start from the last term and therefore you take now to find out the coefficient of z bar n in 1, 3, 5, etc. up to 2n minus 1 divided by 2, 4, 6, etc. up to 2n into z bar n 2x minus z whole bar n. We know the formula x minus a whole bar n is equal to x bar n minus n c1 x n minus 1 a plus n c2 x n minus 2 a squared minus it will go like this. So we can write 2 x minus z whole power n as 2 x whole power n minus n c1 2 x whole power n minus 1 into z plus n c2 2 x whole power n minus 2 z squared minus it will go like this. So, uh, we are concentrating on the coefficient of z bar n. So, only in the uh, first term, that is if you consider z bar n and 2x whole bar n, we have z bar n. All other cases, the uh, coefficient of z, z bar n is actually appears only in the first term. So, if you take the first term, it is 1, 3, 5, etc. up to 2n minus 1 divided by 2, 4, 6, etc. up to 2n into 2x whole power n. This you can write it as 1, 3, 5, etc. up to 2n minus 1. In the denominator, if you take 2 from each term, so we can get n terms of 2 that you can write it as 2 power n. And the remaining one is 1, 2, 3, etc. up to n into 2 power n and x power n. And the, this can be written as 1, 3, 5, etc. up to 2n minus 1 divide by n factorial. 1, 2, 3, etc. up to n can be written as n factorial. And the 2 power n, 2 power n will be cancelled and therefore we have x power n. The, so the final term is 1, 3, 5, etc. up to 2n minus 1 divided by n factorial into x bar n. Next, we have to concentrate on the uh, second term from the last. So, 
we have to find the coefficient of z power n in 1, 3, 5, etc. up to 2n minus 3 divided by 2, 4, 6, etc. up to 2n minus 2, z power n minus 1, 2x minus z whole power n minus 1. Uh, similarly, uh, 2x minus z whole power n minus 1 can be written as 2x whole power n minus 1 minus n minus 1 c1 2x whole power n minus 2 into z plus n minus 1 c2 2x whole power n minus 3 z squared and it will go like this. We are concentrating only on the coefficient of z power n. So, uh, in the second term has the coefficient of z power n and also if you write n c r is equal to n factorial divided by n minus r factorial into r factorial, you can write n minus 1 c 1 as n minus 1. So, if you take the coefficient of z power n, that is if you are taking the second term, we can get 1, 3, 5, etc. up to 2n minus 3 divided by, uh, we have taken all the 2s from the denominator. So therefore, n minus 2s, n minus 1, 2s will be there. Therefore, it is 2 power n minus 1 into 1, 2, 3, etc. up to n minus 1 minus n minus 1 into 2x whole power n minus 2. So, uh, here you are multiplying and divide by 2n minus 1 into 2n. So, we can write this is 1, 3, 5, etc. up to 2n minus 3 divided by 2 power n minus 1, 1, 2, 3, etc. up to n minus 1 into 2n minus 1 into 2n divided by 2n minus 1 into 2n into minus of n minus 1 uh, 2x whole power n minus 2. So, combining the term 1, 3, 5, etc. up to 2n minus 1 divided by 2 power n minus 1 into 2 uh, into 1, 2, 3, etc. up to n into 2n divided by 2n minus 1 into minus n minus 1 2x whole power n minus 2. So, if you are combining, it is equal to 1, 3, 5, etc. up to 2n minus 1. In the denominator, 1, 2, 3, etc. up to n can be written as n factorial. And 2n minus 1 and 2 is 2 power n. And the numerator, it is 2n into n minus 1 divided by n, 2n minus 1 into 2 power n divided by, uh, that is you are writing 2 power n minus 2 as 2 power n divided by 2 squared. Uh, into x power n minus 2. So, this can be written as 1, 3, 5, etc. up to 2n minus 1 divided by n factorial into n into n minus 1 divided by 2 into 2n minus 1 x power n minus 2. Similarly, we find the coefficient of z power n in 1, 3, 5, etc. up to 2n minus 5 divided by 2, 4, 6, etc. up to 2n minus 4 z power n minus 2 into 2x minus z whole power n minus 2. If you use the similar formula, uh, that is 2x minus z whole power n minus 2 can be written as 2x whole power n minus 2 minus n minus 2 c1 into 2x whole power n minus 3 into z plus n minus 2 c2 2x whole power n minus 4 z squared minus it will go like this. And therefore, uh, here we can get z power n only from the uh, third term. So, you write n minus 2 c2 is equal to n minus 2 factorial divided by n minus 4 factorial into 2 factorial. That you can write it as n minus 2, n minus 3, n minus 4 factorial divided by 2 factorial, n minus 4 factorial that is equal to n minus 2, n minus 3 divided by 2 factorial. So, the coefficient of z power n in this term is 1, 3, 5, etc. 
up to 2n minus 5 divided by 2 power n minus 2. That is, you have taken all the 2s from each term. So, therefore, n minus 2 terms are there. So, it is 2 power n minus 2 into 1, 3, 5, etc. up to n minus 2 into n minus 2, n minus 3 divided by 2 factorial into 2x whole power n minus 4 factorial. Now, you are multiplying and divide by 2n minus 3, 2n minus 1, n minus 1, n. In the above equation, you can write the uh, last equation. Now, you simplify uh, this equal to you are combining the term that is 1, 3, 5, 2n minus 5, 2n minus 3, 2n minus 1 divide by 2 power n minus 2, 1, 3, 5, etc. up to n minus 2, n minus 1 into n into n minus 1, n divided by 2n minus 3 into 2n minus 1 into n minus 2, n minus 3 divided by 2 factorial, 2 power n minus 4 into x power n minus 4. So, this can be written as 1, 3, 5, etc. up to 2n minus 1 divided by n factorial into n into n minus 1, n minus 2, n minus 3 divided by 2 factorial, 2 squared, 2n minus 3, 2n minus 1 into x power n minus 4. Now, if you combine all the coefficients of z power n, this is equal to 1, 3, 5, etc. up to 2n minus 1 divided by n factorial into x power n minus n into n minus 1 divided by 1 factorial 2 into 2n minus 1 x power n minus 2 plus n into n minus 1 n minus 2 n minus 3 divided by 2 factorial uh, 2 squared 2n minus 3 into 2n minus 1 x power n minus 4 minus it will go like this. This is nothing but your pn of x. So, similarly, if you are uh, uh, taking the coefficient of z power n, you are end up with the coefficient of z power n is your pn of x. Similarly, if you take the coefficient of z power n minus 1, then you can end up with pn minus 1. So, we can write 1 minus 2x z plus z squared whole power minus half s 1 plus z p1 of x plus z squared p2 of x plus and so on. And the final term is z power n. E of X. Thank you.